Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today's battle occurred in San Fontaine, located in German South Africa. The various factions consisted of the German colony of German Southwest Africa and United Kingdom's unitary state of the Union of South Africa on September 26, 1914. The German forces in the fight over South Africa were commanded by General Joachim von Hedebrecht and his 1,700 soldiers. Meanwhile, the South African forces in this theater were under the command of South African Brigadier General Tim Lucan and more than 2,500 men. The Union of South Africa was a United Kingdom unitary state, meaning the United Kingdom could direct what portions of the government of the local Union of South Africa had control of and what power they had. Under pressure from the United Kingdom, the Union of South Africa had entered the war on September 14th. During this time, South Africa was also having to deal with a possible rebellion by its own people for internal politics. However, that did not stop General Lucan's attack in the German South Africa. The Union of South Africa forces were large, consisting of more than 135 officers, 522 native soldiers, 4 artillery pieces, and approximately 2,500 soldiers. However, they were dehydrated, overheated, and without water. Lucan, realizing his men were in trouble, decided to try and take the wells at San Fontaine, and did so quickly with little resistance. After successfully securing the location, Lucan ordered the defenses of San Fontaine set up, but the area itself was in poor defensive positions surrounded by heights that overlooked the well. The defenses consisted of 120 men with an additional two squadrons of mounted riflemen, two machine guns, an ambulance, and two artillery pieces, all under the command of British Colonel R.C. Grant. The Germans were aware of the terrain and decided to attack. The Germans were comprised with mostly native troops commanded by German officers. They had 10 artillery pieces and 4 machine guns. Hedebrick sent forward some of his German cavalry in a scouting trip towards the wells. They were engaged by Lucan's defenders and took heavy losses, retreating back to the German lines. The Germans almost immediately ordered a full attack and began to attack San Fontaine itself from multiple directions. They enjoyed superior position as they were in the heights above Lucan's men and could fire down. Even with the superior position, the first German infantry attack failed, as the South African machine gun section pushed them back. Meanwhile, the Germans moved up their own machine guns and began attacking from the other side. During this time, the South Africans and Germans were also engaged in an artillery duel. The Germans eventually won this duel due to having more than a 2 to 1 advantage in artillery pieces. By 11 a.m., the Germans had shifted their position, concealing their artillery and machine guns and closed the distance to less than 600 meters. During this time, the Germans took lunch between 1 and 2 p.m. and stopped attacking with infantry, while continuing to use artillery fire. By 5 p.m., the Germans were only 300 meters away, and the Germans began using high explosive shells, which did far more damage to this reduced range. The South African forces realized they had no choice but to surrender, which they did at 6 p.m. that evening. It is said that Haderbrick acted in a chivalrous manner to the British and South Africans he captured including complimenting British Colonel Grant on his defense of the well against superior odds. He also ordered the British that were killed to be given the same honors as his own men that died. Unfortunately for the Germans, not long after the battle, Haderbrick died in an accident and was replaced by Lieutenant Colonel Eric Victor Carl August Frank for the German forces in the area until their defeat in 1915. Casualties were hard for the British forces as they lost the entire 120-man garrison, with 16 killed, 51 wounded, and 53 captured. The Germans lost 60 men, consisting of 14 killed and 46 wounded. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.